It's like this is the game company that uh, <coughs> I'm pimping here. The beauty about this is they actually have a page for their vassal games. As well. So go to gmtgames.com. Yeah, here we go. How many resources best in Michael? There we go. And so they have a list of all of their games that they have available. And they do a really good job recording these. These are all free? These are all their their license is as follows. In order to legally use these files to play a game online via Vassal, at least one of the players must own a copy of the board game. That's, oh. <laughs> so the idea is that you, you one of you owns the game and then you can play them online. So we can play against you. So you can play against me or anyone else who happens to have this game. Um, what I use this for a lot is for trying out games. So a lot of publishers will put their rules online. Uh, so you have the, the list of all the rules that you use in order to play the game. You get a copy of the Vassal module, you do a little setup, look up some run-throughs and other sort of things. Then you get a flavor for the game before you actually drop you know, 50 to 100 bucks on a, on a board game. Just for sure. Just to return it or try and trade it off to someone else. Okay, here we go. So, this thing has automatically gone through. I'm going to zoom out here. That's a little representation of what the map is over there that I'm going to be playing on. And I'm going to zoom out and give you a sense of what's going on here. There is a counters tray here as well. Ah, no, this is good. This is a production sheet for this particular game. You may think that this game is a lot of accounting, but it really isn't. Um, it's basically... Come on, it comes with a spreadsheet. <laughs> it comes with a spreadsheet. It really does. Of course there's a lot of accounting. There's a little bit of accounting. It, it's a... Um, it's a 4X type game, which is a civilization type game where you're trying to grow your economy, build ships, get resources, and then uh, go out and destroy your opponent okay. and grab their stuff. It's realistic, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so let me grab the, uh, the Okay. So in this particular scenario, we start off with a home world. Drag that over there. What'd you call it? A home world. Home world. Yeah. And a colony ship. I'll grab a couple of those. I don't remember all that. I think it's three of them. And one minor. And this is what Dave can do all day long now. Exactly. <laughs> Because that's the, that's where I'm starting off. That's my starting hex. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm supposed to grab four shipyards. And the problem with the shipyards is that they're kind of paying me for two gifts because they just kind of sit there. So I'm going to drag this over here. Now you'll this note on this particular not retired. <laughs> on this particular one here, you have the movement lines. It's really important in these games to know where you moved, and it will show those. Uh, for you. So let's say I wanted to move the shipyard over to here. You'll trace where I've moved this stuff. I can clear that later on. Maybe. I know, this is great. Isn't this exciting? Yeah. I bet you all are just waiting to go play board games. Hey, Craig, if you had minimum wage for all the time you've spent playing games in your life, could you retire right now? I probably would. <laughs> <laughs> if I had all the money that I spent on video games, <laughs> games I probably would. You could retire and play video games. <laughs> yeah, I'll stick to them that. Anyways, um, so the idea of this game is to go through and explore each of these different systems. So this one, uh, if I send a <laughs> Anywho, the idea is you get ships, you go through, you explore the area. Let me... May I have your attention, please? Uh -oh. The time is now 8.30, and the line ray will be closing in 30 minutes at 9 o'clock. 
Please be advised that the internet will shut down 10 minutes before closing. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, they're pretty hurt here. Um, <laughs> it's but the, another thing is, let's say I have a cat, okay? And she likes to play around on the table. She likes to move things around. Uh, and let's say that I want to concentrate on learning a game or something. I don't have to worry about her rubbing against the monitor and having things get all kaflooey. And if I want to come back to something, I don't have to worry about leaving it on a table or something like that. I can instead load a save game. So let me load my old save game here. You just got to worry about her playing with the mouse. Well, yeah. <laughs> cats like mice. That's, uh -huh. how, that's how she works. Especially when they bite the tail and they take it somewhere. Yeah. And while this is working, let me start up another game. This is this other game, Urban <coughs> hmm. And again, this is all happening inside the laptop. I don't have to worry about setting up boards and all this other kind of crap. Do all these have, you can play solitaire right on the PC? You can or? play solitaire. You can also play against other people who are online. Um, and let me double solitaire. There's called double solitaire I used to play. With real can cars. you can you run an ad hoc server like if there's, you just have there's like a server that's out there that everything connects to? Um, you, you need to kind of have a centralized. <coughs> I don't know if there's a way to do an ad hoc server on your own or not. Like if you're having a, a, a LAN then, party. Yeah. No, I think I think it was all the. Um, there's just the one server that I'm aware of. Yeah. That's right. yeah. What if so, I don't know? <laughs> So conquering the universe is not your forte, and you'd rather instead conquer the real estate plans, much like Monopoly, uh, you could play a game of Urban Sprawl. What you do is this, set the planning deck, you take, you purchase building permits with action I think this is going to do the continuation of <sighs> So much fun. It's a demo, what do you expect? Yeah, it's a demo, and I didn't practice the demo. One banner if you did. Shame on any go. Any questions so far on this? I, mean, I know it's a little abstract for most folks. I mean, I mean not a whole lot of you are gamers and, and whatnot. Is Monotony available for this? There, I don't think so. There are ways of playing Monopoly and other sorts of games like that online. I think uh, Atlantic. So is there more advanced games, say high, higher uh, graphic content with maybe more movement? You know, I'm saying like StarCraft or something like that? Or Well, StarCraft isn't a board game. I mean, there is a StarCraft yeah, it's pretty board, much board game. Games, yeah. yeah, this is pretty much just board games itself. Um, and then <coughs> there's a large community of, of board gamers out there, maybe not as vocal as the uh, video game folks. There's, there's a lot more board games that are coming out that are a little more, <coughs> you know, stuff, something like uh, this particular game here, Urban Sprawl. You're, you're um, trying to maximize the amount of actions that you can do in a particular turn so that you can build buildings in here. And I, didn't, I wish this would load up. <laughs> Anywho, there's... there's um, you have different hands that you have. You have different buildings that you can purchase. And you get points based on um, where your buildings are located. In the, um, certain areas are more desirable than other areas. Certain combinations of where you put your buildings. 
uh, are worth more as far as victory points meant. There, there's, I'm doing a huge disservice to this thing, unfortunately, by trying to explain this. Yeah. But there's a lot to these particular games. Um, and unfortunately, they're not both. So, Is there a uh, chess? Is there a chess? Probably. Very chess. Let me see. I actually don't know. That is. Um, oh, there are plenty of board or chess games. Uh, there's sure. cheese chasers. There's chess and checkers. Chess and checkers. Chess and checkers. Cool. So they're probably like back cabinet. Yeah, oh. Basics, right? They're, they're still um, in development. Um, there's what? Chess is still in development? It's still in development. Yeah, it's still working on it. <laughs> um, I think there's a go. I had somebody started it and just got tired of it. Variation as well. Is there Scrabble? Words is, car is Carcass on there? Carcass on? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Carcass on is on there. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I don't think it's actually, I'm not sure how legal hmm. it is on here. Interesting. Or not. Um, <laughs> Maybe buggy. Yeah. But there's stuff like Carcass on, and if you ever play Carcass on, Carcass is a, real, a really fun tiling game. Yeah, that's building a community and exactly. that kind of thing. Yeah. Exactly. There's stuff like Dominion. <laughs> Me too. Um, well, I would think some of these, you know, if you have like that sprawl, it would be like a Sim City, and they'd be stealing or borrowing concepts from the commercial games as well. Well, these are commercial games. These are games that you can go out and pick up right now. It's the. Um, but you're supposed to. But is, yeah. is it like Milk Bradley games, or is it the other more. Uh, they're, they're, they're more independent type designers that are probably going to be on here. Um, like you're going to find. There are design um, board game places like Fantasy Flight Games and that, which is a really big uh, board game uh, publisher. They put up some of their models, but most of the time with their stuff, you have to actually have a copy of the game because they remove some of the text off of the cards. So you can't really do anything with them. Um, oh. Munchkin is not something that you're going to find on here because Steve Jackson Games does not want to have Munchkin on there, unfortunately. Um, well, because they probably think they're going to launch their own. Server. More than likely, yeah. I can see them doing it. Create their own, or, or yeah. 